Hello guys. Back again with Bobadurin. The film opens, with a woman marked with a code, beaming BB-5040. None other than, this woman named Arlen has officially become the 5040th prisoner in one of the prisons, nicknamed Bad Batch. Where, the prison has an open concept system in the desert region. Welcome to Arlen in one of the cruelest prisons. Who deliberately let the prisoners survive in their own way? In fact, this area does not have any rules and laws that apply in America. Then Arlen accidentally saw a parked car with a fairly severe damage condition. Sadly, the car is completely unreliable and Arlen is just busy getting dressed in the car. Until one day, Arlen just realized that there was a vehicle that was heading to the car. At that moment, he immediately ran as fast as possible from the pursuit of a mysterious person. But unfortunately Arlen was caught so easily by the thugs. When he woke up, he was already in a chained position and placed in a base camp in the area. Not long after, a woman came who directly injected Arlen's hand and even, the woman also cut her hand for free. Amazingly, it's not enough to just cut off one of Arlen's legs. Which of course shocked him in an instant while carrying one leg and one arm. The woman was ready to prepare the food. Yes, it's clear, Arlen has just been kidnapped by a gang of prisoners in this area. Where, they can survive by eating the flesh of other prisoners, especially the new prisoners. That same night, Arlen, who couldn't go anywhere, deliberately defecated as much as he could. And, polishing all the dirt that he has issued all over his body. And sure enough, this method was quite successful in making the old woman feel disgusted. Until he hastened to obey Arlen. On that occasion, Arlen secretly took a crowbar which of course he would prepare to attack the woman. Not long ago, Arlen managed to immobilize him in an instant and it was also realized by other victims who were chained. From here Arlen dragged his body as fast as possible while hiding from anyone's view. Patch by patch of sand in the base camp he got through. Arlen Yong, who was already defeated, accidentally saw the skateboarding board sitting still and idle. The skateboard board he immediately used to help him move and escape from the base camp. I don't know what lies ahead. But clearly, Arlen was already severely dehydrated due to exposure to the sun. Lucky. Not long after that someone came pushing a basket and that person immediately brought Arlen on top of the basket. Traveling a distance of tens of km, is certainly not an easy thing for that person. Which turned out to be that he had deliberately taken Arlen to a place that the brochure paper had referred to, namely a place called the Comfort. Arlen was quickly greeted by the guards at the entrance of the place. While the mysterious man who helped him just left immediately. Five months later, Arlen who was a mess now looks much better because he began to have income from efforts to help villagers who were busy trading. Yes, you could say the comfort is a settlement for defenses who still want to feel alive, even though they are being detained for various cases. While on the other hand the scene moves to a man with a burly body who really looks scary and scary. Investigating it turns out this man is the leader of a cannibal base camp that had arrested Arlen. But yes, despite his grim face, this man nicknamed the Miami men really loves children. In fact, he is also an expert in painting. It was so sad that he was willing to step into the kitchen just to cook one of the victims. Every night, basically, at this base camp, the new prisoners were like livestock. Where their flesh is used as a nutritious meal. The day had changed again and Erlen was able to buy special leg supports and also a gun which was available at the comfort complex. Armed with the gun he had bought, Arlen decided to practice shooting at that time under different conditions. The kids from the Miami men are getting ready to go with one of the caretakers to a dump, I don't know what they're going to do. But obviously, the dump is pretty close to the comfort. To the point that Arlen also noticed a vehicle that had been used when he was robbed. Without any doubts at all, Arlen walked to the dump and he found one of the men at the cannibal base camp and a small child. Arlen didn't do anything to his little child, but the administrator immediately executed it and considered the woman's death as a result of shooting practice. Not long after the shooting, the pusher realized that Arlen was taking a small child to the comfort. Which Baru also arrived near the comfort, Arlen immediately realized that the child wanted to have a rabbit and he did a bit. Come out it's true that Arlen is well behaved until now, but he didn't realize that his father had been waiting for him. In other words the Miami men are also starting to get suspicious while thinking that something is wrong with you. That's why he decided to go to the dump at that very moment, no matter how far away. Especially when he only saw his dead crew, and there was no child in the vehicle. From there he immediately asked the helper who turned out to be a scavenger. The man realized that the Miami men were looking for his son. 
But before that he also realized that the Miami men were very good at drawing. As a result, he immediately ordered the burly man to draw it on the spot and the Miami men agreed. After only a few minutes, from the drawing, he knew that his son had been taken to the comfort. So far, there haven't been any significant problems, because Arlen is still close with the child until now. Even at night he also took the child for a walk while watching the activities at the night market. That's when the leader of the comfort also appeared, which is where he is often called as the dream. The dream is famous for its independent leadership style. In fact, he also issued his own currency which until now has always been used as a transaction tool. Unfortunately, Arlen is even interested in joining the ongoing party, to the point that he did not realize that the little boy had been scattered from him, because he was looking for a rabbit that had run away. What's great is that it's not just scattered, but the child continues to walk and confronts the dream and his wife. At this point the child was immediately brought into the house of the dream without being noticed by Arlen who was having a party. It's really really staggered like that. A. He still just wants to try to go for a walk to get some wind. Yes, Arlen had just woken up from his deep sleep in a condition that was already lying in an open area. At this point he also realized that his leg brace had been carried by the Miami men in front of him. Of course, the Miami men immediately asked Arlen about the whereabouts of his son. To which Arlen replied that he had never seen the child. Hearing this, Arlen was immediately assigned by the Miami men to look for his son in a nearby area alive. If it can't be found or the child's life is not alive, then Arlen will be at stake. Dot not long after that conversation, they were even approached by someone who seemed to be carrying something. It turns out oh it turns out, this person wants to offer barter to the Miami men. None other than he wanted to exchange a jerry can of gasoline with Arlen's life as a meal from their group. I'm still optimistic that the Miami men won't want to. But strangely, he even confirmed the barter activity. What's amazing is that it turned out to be just a trick of the Miami men. From there he immediately slaughtered the man with two sharp weapons. As a result the Miami men who did not bring any food stock also cut off the man's hand. You could say this is the true definition of winning a lot, which is where he managed to get gasoline, got Arlen and also got a motorbike. Even Arlen, who was peeing in the bushes, also accompanied him so he wouldn't be blown by the sandstorm. At night they purposely rest in the middle of the desert while holding the hand of the man earlier. Miami men's background also makes Arlen wonder where he is confused with the reason the man can go to jail. Yes, he was imprisoned because he had been an illegal immigrant from Cuba to America since the age of 13 years. From there Erlen told the Miami men to show the code around his neck. It turns out that Arlen actually took advantage of that moment to take the knife, but yes, his name is also a steel-minded person, instead of feeling afraid but instead he sticks the knife to his stomach. Only not for the bullet that penetrated his body and more precisely the bullet came from one of the prisoners who managed to escape. Search for the Miami men base camp. Immediately, he immediately took his motorbike and took Arlen to go to the comfort. Investigate. It turns out that the prisoner who took Arlen is the 5,884th prisoner. Which means that in a few days there have been 800 more people. From here start thinking, how can that believe freely if the prisoners who enter only have to increase every day? While in another condition the rescue man accidentally saw the Miami men who were lying down. And he also intends to help someone starting from hunting a crow to be used as food to treating the Miami men. The man has really been a savior for both Arlen and the Miami men to this day. Then came a moment where Arlen accidentally saw the child who was traveling with his wife the dream. Yes, you could say, the child is considered his own child and is always pampered with luxurious facilities at his home. In other situations the Miami men are ready for adventure, without the help of a helper. But it is clear who will never forget the services of this man. To the extent that he immediately respects him. Late in the evening, Arlen decides to visit his house the dream which has been heavily guarded by women. Amazingly it turns out that the dream has a large number of wives. Which is where, all of them are in the period of pregnancy. But it didn't make Arlen to just stop. Because, Arlen was even interested in becoming his wife too. It doesn't take long for her to become the wife of the dream. One of the wives prepared a special room for Arlen herself. It's just that Arlen didn't really want to be a wife at that time. But he was deliberately carrying out an unexpected plan. That is, holding the newest wife hostage. According to him this is a powerful way to get his son Miami men. From here, it's clear, see the dream also uses his wives as armed bodyguards, even though they are all pregnant with a baby. Fortunately Arlen's plan was not in vain and it also allowed him to get out of the comfort, with a sense of security without any injuries. That's it.
he also doesn't have to bother walking anymore because the vehicle is already in Arlen's hands. At the same time it didn't take long since leaving the comfort. Arlen also crossed paths with the Miami men. Of course, he was very excited to welcome his son. From here Arlen decided to join the Miami men and become a member of the base camp. Of course it was immediately approved by the man without the need to think long. But the problem is, the kid actually craves spaghetti, because since he was there he has always been served a plate of spaghetti, while the Miami men themselves have nothing at this time except Oned rabbit that Arlen gave to his son. As a result, the three of them immediately ate the rabbit even though it had to be accompanied by cries from their son, Miami men. The concept of a prison with a system like this is really interesting, yes, coupled with a prison system like in the movie The Backbone. See you again in the next video. Bye.